Let's now do some examples involving probability. First example, find the probability of getting a sum of seven on two throws of a die. Well, you throw a die once, you have six different possibilities. You throw it again, you have six other possibilities. Up, this is called a lattice diagram. Up top we have the first die, and here's the second die. We're asked to find the sum, so we have to add them together. One plus one is two, one plus two is three, etc. Well, we see in this grid here, we've got 36 possibilities, and one, two, three, four, five, six of them are equal to seven. So our answer is six out of 36, which simplifies to one out of six when you divide both numerator and denominator by six. Here is a good example of the probability used. Here, here is a good example of the probability rules using the union. A card is randomly selected from a pack of 52 playing cards. Find the ability, find the probability that the card is black or a king. So I wrote this as P B the union sign or king. I know my formula, so I write my formula down. Probability B union king is probability of black plus probability of king minus that overlap probability of black and king. Well, probability of being black, 52 cards, half of them are black, it's 26 out of 52. Plus, probability of being a king is 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 kings out of 52. Now, if I count that, I'm counting 26 and then 4. Notice I've counted these cards, these black kings, in the middle twice. So I have to subtract that out. Minus, there's 2 that I have to subtract out. This will give me a total of 28 out of 52, which of course you can write as a percentage or simplify to 7 out of 13. Continuing with our prob uh, probability problems, here's a very straightforward question that's asking you, do you know your formulas? If the probability of A is 0 0.6 and the probability of B is 0 0.3, and the intersection of A and B is 0 0.2, find the probability of A union B. Well, you have to know that that's probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection with B, which is as simple as 0 0.6 plus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2, which is 0 0.7. Find the probability of the coupling of B. Well, if we know that the probability of B plus the probability of its complement add up to 1. So therefore, the probability of the complement of B is equal to 1 minus the probability of B, which is 0 0.3. So again, this is 0 0.7. This last one seems to give people trouble. Find the probability of A intersection with not B. Everything outside of B will be shaded, and everything inside of A is shaded. And where do they overlap? Well, they overlap right here. That's the spot where they overlap. Well, we know that this is 0 0.2, and we know that A is 0 0.6, so it will be 0 0.6 minus 0 0.2, which is 0 0.4. We've seen lattice diagrams and Venn diagrams. A third type of diagram called the tree diagram will help us out of some spots in dealing with probability problems. For example, a coin is tossed three times. Find the probability of obtaining three heads. To me, that says, let's draw a tree diagram. Here's my first tots, head or tails. At each branch, our probability is equal to 1. So I have 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. At every single branch, because we're tossing a coin, our probability will add up to 1, 50% or 0.5 to heads, 50% or 0.5 to tails. So if I have three different tosses of the coin, I'm going to have three branches or three separate branchings of the tree diagram. What's the probability of getting three heads? Well, here we have head, head, head. Here is our outcome here, head, head, head. And that's, this is going to give us head, head, tail, head, tail, head, head, tail, 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 head, head, tail, head, tail, 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 head, tail, tail, tail. I have eight separate outcomes. This only, there's only one of them with three heads. So what is the probability of getting three heads? One out of eight.